In this tutorial, I want to show you simple default setup inside the shader. To make it, we're gonna use empty to control position of the texture. Create empty, enable face snapping and align rotation to target. In this way, orientation of the empty will always be aligned to target normals. A little preparation is done and we can proceed to shading. Add image texture and open your image. We could use black and white image for this, or image with alpha pass. When we preview our texture, we can see that the result is not what we want. So, we can easily fix it by selecting texture, pressing Ctrl T if you have not running on enabled, and changing mapping output to object and selecting previously created empty. Now, change projection mode to extend and set 0.5 in the X and Y axis in mapping node. Now we can manipulate this texture by moving the empty. But this texture appears on the back side, so we need to fix it. Add gradient node, set it to spherical, duplicate mapping node with Ctrl Shift D, press it with backspace and connect it to gradient. Add color ramp, set it to constant and adjust it. Add mix node and use gradient as factor. If you have background color other than pure white or black, you can set color space to standard and use color picker tool. And now mask setup is done and we can use it in the shader. If you have thin object and texture appears on the other side, you can scale gradient texture on the axis or scale empty on the same axis. You can use this mask to mix colors, shaders, or even to make bump map. But for this, we need to blur the texture. To do it, we can open Composition tab, add image node and select texture, then add blur node and connect it to viewer. Then we can set the amount of blur that we need and then open rendering tab. Select the image from viewer node and save it. Then we can just open this image in the texture node. With it, we gain a nice bevel in the bump map. Also, you can move this texture on other objects with the same material. Thank you for watching and special thanks to my Patreon supporters.